Yeah, hello mate. My name's um, Dave Burt, part of um, the Liverpool Poker League team that's come over from the um, UK. About 62 of us all together. Um, it was my second stab today, so obviously um, day uh, one, one C. I had a go yesterday, got through with 54,000. So I've got an online ticket and I um, have another stab today, so I can push on my stack a bit further. Currently sat on about 30k, um, so I need a couple of double ups in the last two blind levels if I can. So it'll be a bit of a gamble going on, but it'll be a bit of fun I think as well, <laughs> trying to make it happen. Um, this is the first IPO for me, yep. So I've been um, over a few places with um, uh, the pub league. Um, we was in Vegas earlier on in the year and then obviously come over to IPO as well for this. So out of the group of us, so about 62 has come over. Quite a few have been before. So I've learned from those guys as well, you know, get the ropes, about the tournament runs, etc. Yeah, it's been really good, really, really enjoyed it. Um, can't fall anything with it at all, so really happy. Yeah, so I went to Vegas in um, June. Um, I was lucky enough to make the final table, uh, Event 21. Finished ninth for $26,000. So that was great. First time in Vegas, first World Series event, so I couldn't really fault it. Um, it's all paid for as well by the Poker League, that was, because the package that we win. So I was basically free rolling it. Um, so obviously off the back of that I was hoping to bring some little form over here as well. Uh, the fact that I've made day two is obviously a good start, so I can spin that one up and then see if we can go deep in this as well. I've only been in the last three or four years. Um, so I started off in the pub league, as I suppose a lot of people do, um, just playing friendly games. Um, didn't really have a clue what I was doing for that first year, as a lot of people could probably relate to. Then you start to kind of figure things out, you start you know, reading a few books, you know, looking into the maths a bit more. The body language of people, yeah, the reading situations of, of um, different hands, and I just seem to get some sort of knack for it. So, well, I, I don't if I say for a second I'm a good player, <laughs> but there's obviously something about it because I've had a few consistent results now. Um, so, yeah, it's um, we've been a good time, really. Uh, a bit of both. I'm better, I think I rate myself better with live. Um, online, because it's so quick compared to live, I can make a lot of mistakes and I probably get a bit more impatient as well. And at least if you, you know, play the live game, you've got all the actual people to talk to as opposed to sitting in front of the computer screen. And I do play online, um, and I've had a few, you know, relatively good successes in you know, tokens, packages, that sort of thing. But I do think I, you know, I enjoy the live game more as well, which probably helps. So I do I rate myself better as a live play, really. I think so, definitely, yeah. I mean, a lot of the guys, as so I say, we brought 62 out, and for the guys that played, hit, played to win this, we like win our own local area final, finals in the pubs. And to bring it to a place that you wouldn't really be able to afford to go yourself. So certainly from a grassroots level, if you've got an interest in poker, look up one of your poker leagues. Obviously, we're live for poker league. There's other ones out there if you want to go and have a look. Not that they'll let me, let me advertise those ones because I play for live for poker league. Um, but um, yeah, it's a really great, great, great grassroots place to go because normally everyone's friendly and everyone's in the same boat. You get a lot of people who don't really know how to play the game fully. So they really understand it and teach you and um, get, get you going, really. Mm -hmm.